Make sure you turn your breaker off, your main power breaker off to the air conditioning unit and everything is turned off. Take the batteries out and the display should go blank. Okay, here we go. We're going to change out a thermostat. Take the batteries out. The display will go off in a couple seconds. What? I'm doing a video here to this one. So the display went off. You see the wires coming out of the wall. There is a blue wire there, but that is only an auxiliary power for the display. That does not need to be connected to the blue terminal if you have a battery powered display. So just ignore the blue wire coming out of the wall. You should have a white, yellow, green, and red wire left. Uh, the newer term, the newer thermostats come with jumpers from the, you see the RH and RC, there is a jumper placed in there, the newer one should come with a jumper, if it's there on your old one, leave it on the new one, if it's not there on your old one, take it off. Okay, now we're going to remove this old thermostat from the wall. This, by the way, is a 1F. 86-244 White and Rogers. We're going to replace it. Most most thermostats have two screws. There's one there and there's one there through that hole. I'm going to remove those now and uh, once the screws are out you may have to cut around here with a utility knife to break the seal between any old paint that we may have painted around your thermostat. So once we do that we're going to just pull that off the wall and now you connect, disconnect your wires one at a time just as they were put in. You see the RH and the RC there's a jumper and also that there is the red wire going to the RC. So I'm going to remove those first. Then the yellow one and the green one which is the fan wire. That screw is already out. And there's the green wire there. That's my problem right now. My fan keeps running all the time. And a white wire. Those are your four wires. Red, white, yellow, and green. They're marked by C's and G's. Yellow is Y, green is G, white is W, and the R goes to the RC. One at a time. Take them off one at a time, and, and you should get new tag or a little piece of paper tags with your new one. Just put those on the wire so you know where they go. I mean, but you, you're gonna know where they go because the color code. Okay, there's my five wires coming out of the wall: green, white, yellow, red, and blue. So I'm not marking them because I can tell the colors and I know which. They just go to those terminals marked on this thing. The blue one on most older ones it, without batteries is a power wire for your display. If, you, if your new one or old one has batteries, the blue one does not need to be connected. Obviously, these wires here are from an older, older one. Be, and I had a replacement one with batteries, so they didn't connect the blue one. That was, was throwing me off. Once again, my fan is running continuously. I'm going to put the new thermostat in and hopefully it solves the problem. I'll be back in a minute. Once you get the new thermostat on, you can line it up with the previous holes for your screws. So it covers the footprint that was there from the old one. You don't have to do any 
painting around it again or you're going to have to try to get a furnish uh, step the same size as your old one. Okay, just screw the new one in. One screw in and there's another screw goes in that hole. And you can level it as you're doing that. So your thermostat is level. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Okay, if your if the wire coming out of the wall doesn't match the entrance to there, you can see this one's a little bit offset. All you have to do is take a screwdriver and punch it, punch it through the drywall to get the wire lead wherever. The wire leading over to that area, then just move the wire over so it lines up with the entrance for the wire on the back of your new thermostat. Okay, that should that will mean that'll mean the thermostat will set right over the area, and I had to get one the same size so it covers that. The old old one's uh, footprint. Okay, all my wires are screwed in. They're tight except for the blue one. The blue one is just coming out of the wall. Once again, the blue one is only if you don't have battery powered display. You connect the blue one to the B terminal. I want to thank Mr. Cool in Cape Coral for helping me uh, with this di wiring diagram and telling me about the blue wire was only the source for the display and that the red wire goes into the RC side of the jumpers but that's the way the old one was wired so it's wired the same way white to white red to red to the RC green to green yellow to yellow and the blue wire is uh, not connected so now I'm going to read the rest of the instructions and then turn this thing on and see if it works I'll be back in a minute then just start connecting your wires to the wires in the uh, new thermostat. The red one goes to the RC. There's a, a jumper between the RC and the R8. See it? And the red wire gets screwed in with the RC. These are the slides. Back off the screw down here on this model, and th th this thing opens up. You stick the wire in there, then screw it back in, and it tightens the wire right in. Be back in a minute. One more thing there is a switch in here, right there. It says electric, or I think this one says. G4 or S4, I'm not sure, I, my eyes aren't that good, but set it to the electric side. Your instructions with your new thermostat will tell you that. Even if you don't have any instructions for your old one and you're looking at it, it's not working, make sure that switch is set to the electric side. It goes back and forth. Make sure you're set to the electric side. And... And then we're all set to put the faceplate back on and see if this thing will kick in. Okay, let's pray to St. Jude that it does. St. Jude, worker of miracles, help the hopeless, pray for us. Thank you, St. Jude. Okay, once you have the faceplate on and everything is, is good, uh, you might have some programmable settings in, in there to uh, set your... The Fahrenheit or Celsius readings. Uh, cycling rate fast or slow. Reminded when time to change the filter. It, it's real easy instructions. All you do is press those two buttons simultaneously. And the readout screen will give you the choice. Then you hit, hit them again to change the settings the next go to the next I mean this one had five settings Fahrenheit just temperature deflection which means if you want to want it to read 
four degrees lower than it does say it's 80 85 degrees right now and it's reading 81 you can do that up or down four four on this one compressor lockout set the set to on to protect your heating and cooling systems compressor so that's all you can do that too just by pressing the buttons read the instructions in your pamphlet and it'll tell you exactly how to set it then what you do is you turn set your fan switches heat and cool and set this set the system to cool if it's in the summer heat if it's in the winter and right now it's showing that it it's set at 85 and temperature 81 so we want well I want it above that right now 83 because I'm going to turn the power on now and if the fan comes on and there's something still wrong with this thing if the fan does not come on until I come out and press that button then we did it yay okay once again I'll be back in a okay just snap the cover on and we're all set to go now I go power it up let me make sure I read the instructions first to make sure I'm all set with everything else before powering up but back in a second is okay I'm back on I turned the power on the fan did not come on now I'm gonna set the temperature down and when it gets to below 80 the fan should come on and it did you hear it wow I'm a genius I did it yay for the first time in my life I think I did something right my wife will be real happy when she gets home Maybe she'll even give me a big kiss. Okay, that's me. We did it. Hope this helped you. I was really worried about this. I'm on Social Security and don't have a lot of money to pay a heating guy $200 to come out and fix it. So, once again, Mr. Cool Cape Coral, Florida, gave me some advice over the phone, which really helped me to know which wires go where. So, if you're in that area, is Mr. Cool, Cape Coral or uh, Nathan was the kid's name. Okay, thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Hope this helped you.